Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads uh, the road has a weight W and uh, rests against the floor and uh, the wall for which the coefficients of static friction are mu A and mu B, respectively. <coughs> Determine the smallest value of theta for which the road will not move. Right. So this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics uh, Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. So to start with, let me just go through the problem again. So we have a rod, and this rod has a weight of W. There we go. And this W is acting at the center of gravity for this particular road at a distance 0.5 L. So we are assuming in this particular case S, uh, L is known as well as the weight. <coughs> right. So now let's uh, fill in all the other missing parts in our free body diagram. So let's assume the wall at A, I mean the wall at, at B is removed and the flow at A is removed for us to show the free, uh, the, the, the reaction forces, okay? Because these reaction forces are, uh, are on the road, okay? The ones we are showing right now, they are, in, they are on the road at A, where we have the road in contact with uh, the flow, as well as the road in contact with the wall. So we are assuming this particular uh, wall at B and flow at A have been removed. And then we want to now indicate the reaction forces. So at A, this low road, okay, because the only force that is applied here, or the only force that is existing here is the weight. So this road will have a tendency to move to the left like this, right? And we know, therefore, the direction of friction. Friction has to be opposing the motion right so we expect the friction force at a to be in this direction like so right and we are calling it fb and with this companion which is the reaction from the uh, floor to the road at a which is na at b also we expect the road to have a tendency to move downwards like this. And we know therefore the direction of our friction. The friction will have to oppose that motion. Therefore, we expect our friction force to be in this, this direction like this, which is our FB. And then its companion, which is the normal force, the reaction from the wall to the road, right? Okay. And then we have the theta. So how many unknowns do we have here? Let's count them. We have FA, we have FB, we have NA, we have NB, and we have theta. Of course, like we said, the idea on L and W are known. All right. Yeah. We are assuming they are already known here. They are given as L, then W is given as W, which is the weight of the road. So we have five unknowns. And then we know that for a 2D problem, like this one, if we were to invoke the equations of equilibrium, we only have three. So we, are, we still need two more equations. Okay, so we are going to be forced, and we don't have any choice to look for extra two equations. Where are we going to find them? Yeah. Friction forces, right? Mm -hmm. So this will give us friction equations. Therefore, we need to get friction equations, right? But where will they come from? At the very boundary. So we are going to assume uh, A and B are experiencing impending motion, impending slip, impending slip. They are just at the very boundary, at the very edge. And it just makes sense, right, for us to find 
the smallest angle here, you expect A and B to experience impending motion, right? So if that is the case, therefore, we have all the equations. So one friction equation will be Fa equal to mu A, N A, and another one will be equal to Fb, mu B, N B. Wow, we have all the equations now. Okay, let me include additional information that I forgot to include here, which is uh, the dimension. So we have the horizontal dimension, which is L cos theta. And then the other one here, which is uh, L psi theta. Great. So we have all the equations. Then let's dive quickly into applying the equations of equilibrium and then solve this particular problem. I do want to find the smallest value of theta. So let's start with summation of forces in the y direction. Okay, equal to zero like so. What do we have? We have Na uh, plus Fb mm -hmm, minus W equal to zero. Right. Um, what else do we have? We can write this right, right quickly, right? In terms of uh, these friction equations, right? So let's say N, N A plus F B, we say this mu B, N B minus W equal to zero. Okay, great. So therefore, okay, let's move on. Then we have summation of forces in the x direction equal to zero. Mm -hmm. What do we have? We have, um, sorry, this is supposed to be FA. I don't know how I wrote it as FD. This is FA. Okay. So we have FA uh, minus NB equal to zero. Okay, replacing the friction equation for Fa there, we are going to have mu A, N A, minus N B equal to zero. All right. So, let's move on. Let's take moments about A. So, we have summation of moments about point A equal to zero, and clockwise being our reference. What do we have? We have Fb times L, L cos L cos theta mm -hmm, plus NB uh, L sine theta mm -hmm, minus W uh, 0.5 L cos Theta okay equal to zero. Right. So for this one, we are going to get rid of the L's as well as rewrite it. So I'm going to multiply this by one divided by L cos theta. If we did so, then we're going to just have are going to have the following expression which is just fb mm -hmm, plus nb tan theta mm -hmm, minus 0.5 w equal to zero let's write this one you can write it and simplify it further mm -hmm. so fb we said is mu b n b okay this one is not well written mu b n b plus n b uh, tan theta minus 0.5 w equal to zero right so making tan subject to the formula, we are going to have tan theta, 
is equal to 0.5 W minus mu B uh, NB divided by NB, which is finally equal to 0.5 W NB minus mu B. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so here we are. Then we know we can replace what we know what NB is. All right. So let's write NB from this equation here. Okay. This equation. Mm -hmm. So NB is equal to NB is equal to W minus NA divided by a mu b right mm -hmm. is that so okay so let's check how this goes for sure we have nb and then this we also know that na is equal to and a from this equation from this equation here okay and a is equal to and B divided by mu a is that so all right I think let me replace it quickly into that so that uh, I reduce the jargon so we have na plus uh sorry i want to replace na there so we have na is equal to nb mu mu a that is from this equation and then replacing this there i'll have replacing there in this equation i will have nb mu a Okay, NB mu A plus mu B NB minus W equal to zero. Therefore, I NB if I factor it out, it becomes equal to W divided by one over mu A plus mu B right mm -hmm. yeah so there we go so we are going to replace this now here we'll replace this one here here and we replace it there okay no not there sorry we'll replace it here sorry to simplify it there if we did so if we did so, we are going to have the following expression tan, tan theta will be equal to tan theta will be equal to 0.5 1 minus mu b mu a divided by mu a. And therefore, our theta is going to be equal to tan inverse of 0.5, 1 minus mu b mu a divided by mu a. Okay. Right. So, I guess we are done. I guess we are done with uh, our problem so this is the smallest value of theta for which the rod will not move okay this is the smallest and I hope the video was helpful I hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my videos and share my channel and continue subscribing 
Bye-bye. And uh, see you in my next uh, screencast.